Hi, I'm Kimball Sampson, the inventor of the CalorieQ Droid app, a fast, fun, and easy way of keeping a dialogue with your smartphone's camera. The goal of CalorieQ is to make calorie counting quick and easy so that you stick with it. I've used other dialogues and given up after a month simply because there's too much stuff to keep track of and it takes too much time to enter it into the system. Watch my video and I'll show you how easy it is. Just a few seconds per meal. The first thing to do is to install the CalorieQ Droid app. Just click on Market, search on CalorieQ, and then Install. If you haven't already, please get the latest update to CalorieQ from the Android Market. Right now we're at version 2.1. Just go in and search on Calorie Q and download it. it. Installs just like any other application. It's installing. It's a pretty small application. It doesn't take too long to download. And I'm going to go ahead and open it. The first time you open the app, you're asked to sign up. Just put a username and an email and make your own password. The security of this site is very simple since it doesn't store personal information other than your username and email. So I'll just go in and create a, an email, uh, a username, an email, and I'm just going to make up a password. Remember what your password is. And go ahead right here and hit sign up. Okay, this, some of the fields go gray when you sign up. So you're signed in. So then all you need to do is click on menu and go to the day total. The day total is the main screen of Calorie Q and it's basically where you get started. Calorie Q only contains your pictures so the first time you open up there's pretty much nothing there. The first thing you need to do is go ahead and start taking pictures of your food. The new picture button right here allows you to do that. Here I've got a Chobani yogurt. I'm going to go ahead and pretend that I'm eating that. You simply take a picture of it. Make sure you hit the done button after you're done taking the picture. Then you go to the next screen and you can, at this point you can simply press save. You don't have to enter in the any of the other information. The Chobani yogurt is uploading to the Calorie Q server and here we see it. Zero cows, a, ca a Chobani. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is possibly eat an apple. So I'll go ahead and take another picture. Here's an apple that I'm eating. I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of it. Done and I just press save again. Now sometimes you might already know the calories that you're eating and so let's take a picture of something like that. Here I have weighed a certain amount of pasta. I have a hundred grams of pasta and I'm going to take a picture of it. I press the new food picture, yep. take the picture, and I'm done. I know that 100 grams of pasta happens to be about 150 calories, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a description. I'm even going to do a voice description by pressing the voice button. 100 grams pasta. Which is 150 calories. Give or take 10. Press save. Now we see I have my Chobani, zero calories because I didn't give it an estimate. My Okay, so I've taken three food pictures. One of them I gave calories, the other two I didn't. I want to go back now 
and enter calories for the Chobani yogurt. Maybe I went on the web and I found out what the calories were or I just didn't feel like entering, entering them when I took the picture, so here, here I did it. Now we see my Chobani with 140 calories. You may have seen some screenshots of, of my camera. I've been using CalorieQ for quite a while and this is my Encore screen where I have a bunch of thumbnail pictures of all the meals that I eat often. So I'm going to show you how to set this screen up. It's very quick so that when you eat a, a food item that you repeatedly eat, you can just go right to it. For example, down here, here's an orange. I just had an orange snack and I just click on it and press save. So let's show you how to set up this screen. The way to set up an Encore menu meal is to edit the meal again and then you have to assert that your estimate is final. Once you do that, you'll see that there's an Encore plus button down here. It means to add it to your Encore menu. I'm going to go ahead and select that. I'm going to go back and add this apple as well. I'm going to give the apple 80 calories. I keep pressing off the app. I'm That's I, home screen. Yep. So I've asserted it and I add it to the Encore menu. I'll press save and go and I'll also add the pasta. Pasta is finalized. I'll press Encore. And now, when I go back to my day total screen and I press on my My Encore Meals, I see three thumbnails for things that I eat on a regular basis. So again, I just ate an apple. I press on it and hit Save. Now, what you also notice is on the Encore menu, when you press an item, there's this field here to enter the portion from the original item that you ate. Let's say that you're eating twice as much as the original picture. In this case, tap on this field and enter 2 because it's twice as much as the original meal and save it. Now when you go back to your day total menu, you can do this by pressing menu, day total, You'll see some additional pictures in here. The original three, plus as you scroll down, you'll see that you ate one times an apple and two times 100 grams of pasta, 300 calories, and your bottom total shows you that you've had 750 calories today. If you have half a portion of the original meal, you simply enter 0.5. So let's say you shared an apple with a friend and you had half of it, touch your apple and just enter 0.5 and save it. That's pretty quick to record a meal. It only took a few seconds to do that. I'm holding the camera and the uh, phone very still so it takes a little longer for me. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my diet log on my droid phone which had a lot more pictures on it because I've been using this for a couple months. Back on the day total screen you'll notice that in the middle there's a button with the date on it and there's basically VCR buttons left and right. If you want to show the previous day's diet log just press the right button and it takes me to the previous day and I can see what I've eaten. You can keep doing that to go back over the days and see how much you've eaten. Also, you can press the middle button and pick a date. Let's say you want to look at last month. I want to go back to December. Here I can load the pictures that I took back in December and see things that I ate. And that's basically getting started with calorie queue.